In this simulation, a body is trapped beneath rubble. Rescuing the victim looks difficult until this appears. Its name is Robotops. Each of its two arms has four joints. Robotops can lift up to 100 kilograms. So moving heavy debris comes easily. A large crane manufacturer in Takamatsu City developed Robotops. Using special hydraulic technology, the firm collaborated with Okayama University to develop this breakthrough device. I thought this could be useful to lift heavy objects and help people in a crisis. Emergency rescues are keen to get a first-hand look at Robotops. Here, a special advanced rescue team from the local fire department checks out the robot. The men specialize in rescues. They are interested in the technology that allows the operator to send the robot directly into the disaster site by remote control. The robot has three cameras, called the three eyes. They're located on either hand and on the robot's head. When the camera on the head locates the trapped victim, the right hand springs into action. The camera on the left arm gives the operator a view that helps him make fine adjustments. The camera on the right hand makes sure the robot has a good grip on the object. The robot reduces the risk of more accidents by removing the debris to a safe location. The firefighters like what they see. Hi. We're always facing danger. If we could get a machine to go in for us, it would reduce the risk and that would be extremely helpful. There are still many problems to solve before the robot can be used at disaster sites. The biggest obstacle is balance. Right now, the robot can only walk on flat surfaces. The Department of Engineering at Okayama University has developed a robot that walks on four legs. Now, Professor Toshiro Noritsugu is working on a way to allow the machines to stay balanced while walking up hills or stairs. I'd say the robot should be ready in about three years if a corporation helps us perfect this technology. After consulting with the rescue team, the developers realize that they need to make decisions like figuring out the best size for the robot and perfecting the proper shape of its hands so it can remove debris more effectively. We're improving the robot as we consult with people who understand what will be the best for their rescue missions. A local corporation and the university have already invested about $3.3 million developing the rescue robot. By working with experienced rescuers, the developers continue improving robots that do the heavy lifting after disaster strikes.